All right. Let's pray over your October. The word that we're going to be using is Article Psalms, Section 16, Clause 8. I will keep my eyes always on the Lord. With him in my right hand, I shall not be shaken. So all the one of Israel, mighty one of Jacob, I decrease that you increase. This hour, this day, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, we come to pray over the month of October for this one, the listener of this prayer, my beloved one, in Lord Jesus Christ, mighty name. Be at their right hand. They shall not be shaken, Holy One of Israel, in Lord Jesus' mighty name. They shall not be shaken when attacks come upon their character, their name, or their reputation, in Lord Jesus Christ, mighty name. You shall give them the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that they need in order to move forward with your perfect plans and purposes for their lives. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, they shall not be shaken, my beloved one, as they step forth boldly in a pursuit of your will for their lives. As they step forth boldly, Holy One of Israel, and seek to achieve what it is you have put upon their minds and hearts to achieve, Holy One of Israel, in their jobs, my beloved one, in their businesses, Holy One of Israel, in Lord Jesus Christ, my name, in their ministries, in their missions, my beloved one, and Lord Jesus Christ, my name. May they know that they cannot achieve anything without you, my beloved one. May they know you give them the courage, that you give them the strength, that it is you who builds them up where they are torn down, my beloved one, and Lord Jesus Christ, my name. That is you that goes before them to prepare their way, to make the quick way straight, to make the rough way smooth. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, we're declining the cream, my beloved one, that they see that truly you are their shepherd and they shall not want. You make them to lie down in green pastures. You lead them aside still water. You restore their soul. You lead them in a path of righteousness for your namesake. Yea, though they walk through the valley of the shadow of death, they shall feel no evil for you are with them. Your rod and your staff comforts them. You prepare a table before them in the presence of their enemies. You are not the head with all the covenant though with surely. Goodness and mercy shall follow them all the days of their life, Lord Jesus. This month they shall see that goodness and that mercy, my beloved one, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, the Christ of Nazareth. This month, Lord Jesus, they shall see that this is a month of victory, Lord Jesus, vindication, Lord Jesus, vengeance on their behalf, Lord Jesus, blessings, breakthroughs, basking in your glory, Holy One of Israel. This hour, this day, my beloved one, you shall show them that you was you are as close as holding their right hand and helping them deal with whatever it is they're facing, my beloved one. But they shall not just survive this month. We're done with that. No, 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 no. They're going to thrive this month, my beloved Abba, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, financially, and their territories, Lord Jesus, for your namesake, for your glory, by your grace. My beloved one, they're going to thrive in every way, shape, form, or fashion. And they're going to give you all the honor, all the glory, and all the praise. I tell you not to rejoice and be exceedingly glad for the Lord has already done this for you. He's already answered your prayers. He's going to help you realize that potential. He's going to fulfill the promises that he has made unto you. This month, we declare and decree this so. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, the Christ of Nazareth, we pray. Amen. I pray this blesses you. Be well.